Hello class, this is section 7.3 and in this video we are going to discuss how to take inverse Laplace transforms by completing the square in the denominator of an expression. So sometimes you have a fraction like this where the denominator is a quadratic polynomial but one that cannot be factored. So you can see that this polynomial is one that cannot be factored. You can use the quadratic formula to verify that. What we have to do now is use the completing the squares technique. If you will recall, we will need to write down this expression in terms of two squares, one with an s in it and one without. And we can see that we have a 6s here. So the first expression clearly needs to be s plus 3 to get the 6s. And this will leave us with s squared plus 6s plus 9, which means to get the 25, we need 16 more to go. And so our completing the squares formula will get us s plus 3 squared plus 4 squared as our way to write down the denominator, which means we should write down our problem like so. Laplace inverse. We rewrite our Laplace transform inverse as so. So the item in our formula sheet that we have to use is this one. We can see that the cosine of 4t has Laplace transform s over s squared plus 4 squared, and the sine of 4t has the Laplace transform 4 over s squared plus 4 squared, which seems close enough to what we need, except we have to shift the s plus 3 to an, to an s to get s squared plus 4 squared in the denominator. So let's instead um, solve another Laplace inverse transform, shifting the s to s minus 3 first, so we can get and we solve instead this one, Laplace inverse of 15 plus 2s minus 3 over s squared plus 4 squared. Now we know we can solve this inverse Laplace transform using sine and cosine. And then, through the S translation formula, we can bring it back to our original problem. So let's solve this one instead. The first thing we have to do is to rearrange the terms a little bit. So we have the S term here, so this is going to be 2S over S squared plus 4 squared plus 15 minus 6. It's a minus 3 times 2 over there, over s squared plus 4 squared. So what we have instead is 2s over s squared plus 9 over s squared plus 4 squared. And using the techniques, we know that the these Laplace transforms are cosine and sine. So we can write this down instead as this is equal to... 2s s squared plus 4 squared plus 9 over 4 times 4s squared plus 4 squared. And the reason we do this is that we want to make it looked like uh, what we have here on the Laplace transform table. So taking the Laplace inverse of this guy, this is just going to be equal, using our table, to 2 cosine 4t plus 9 over 4 sine 40. So that's good, but it's not exactly the inverse Laplace transform problem that we have started from. So remember that we started from this problem instead. So what we need to do is to shift back from s to s plus 3 to get our original Laplace transform problem. So to go from s to s plus 3, we need to use the, the formula um, for shift for, trans, for s translation. So shifting from s to s plus 3 here, 
is the same as multiplying by e to the minus 3t here in this world. So remember that we had that correspondence between shifting s and multiplying by exponential functions. And this just means that we have the Laplace inverse of 15 plus 2s over s plus 3 squared plus 4 squared is equal to e minus 3t times the stuff we had before, 2 cosine 4t plus 9 over 4 sine 4t.